Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're just joining me for the first time, my name is Angelfish and I tend to cover a lot of dolls and plushies and just kind of things that I generally like here. Um, and today I wanted to cover some stuff from the new Little Mermaid movie. I will admit I am a little late making this video. I have had these two just kind of sitting for a week now. And I meant to get to them. I know some people are like, how are you going to film a review for plushies? It's what I do. I've done it before on this channel. I make it work somehow. <laughs> anyway, I am really excited for the new Little Mermaid movie. It is the first time I'm going to be able to see any sort of Little Mermaid like film from Disney on a theater screen, which is one of the main reasons I'm excited for it, because... Every time that they released the animated version from The Vault, it was always on DVD only, so I've never actually had a movie theater experience for The Little Mermaid, so that's exciting. Plus, I love the mermaid designs for the movie, so really excited. Hallie's voice is incredible. I still remember the day that she got cast. I was like, oh, I've never heard of this lady before. I need to look her up. And I literally bawled my eyes out listening to one of her songs. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, she's perfect. Uh, fast forward to now, and now that part of your world is out as a single, oh my god, this movie is absolutely going to destroy me emotionally in the theaters, and I am here for it. Anyway, we're going to cover Ariel first. This is the Shop Disney slash Disney Store Ariel plushie. She retails for a about $26 and should be widely available now. It's It's been a couple days since I got her. Actually, it's been like two weeks since I got her. She dropped end of April. Um, she is available on the Target app because they have a Shop Disney section. She is available on Shop Disney. She is available in the Disney parks. She is basically available where um, any sort of Disney store merchandise is, which is great. And she's you know, she's a Disney Store plush doll, so she's pretty high quality. She's got great stitching. Her body is like a kind of um, glittery plush fabric, which they did for the 30th anniversary Little Mermaid plushies, if you also remember. I have the flounder for that somewhere in my collection. I need to find him and maybe give him a wash because he's probably a little dusty, but I do need to get him out because I miss him dearly. Ariel does have this, um, you know, simplified plush hair meant to represent her curls and her locks. I do wish she had more locks in her hair. Uh, she's only got about seven on the plushie, which is not a lot. She definitely has more in the movie. Um, it just feels a little weird because it's asymmetrical. Um, even just one more here probably would have made it feel more balanced. But that's just me. I, I do love her hair, though, because, you know, she's a plushie, and honestly, this is better than acrylic yarn, because I, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I absolutely hate it when plush companies do acrylic yarn for hair, and the one reason for that was the old Disney Park Sally plushies from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Her hair would always come undone, and I would have to re-wind like wind it. Um, I don't know if the correct term, weave, wind, I, I don't know what the correct term for, like, binding the yarn together, like, rolling it to keep its shape. So this will actually stay longer, because it's actually sewn like this, so you won't have it unravel, and I think that's a lot better. Now, this is kind of like a crushed velvet material. It's shiny, it's glittery, it's soft, and it's not like cheap carnival crushed velvet. It's actually decent crushed velvet. Same with her tail, and... Um, her bra is like a satin or, yeah, satin material. And she's got like iridescent organza fins, which are gorgeous. She has an embroidered face. She has a little bit of blush on her cheeks as well. Um, I am rambling a little too long about some of these things, but she is gorgeous. And I just, I love the tail design. I love how the tail translated here because it's a really elaborate design uh, for the movie. And I think this is the best plushie of Ariel that's been released to have the tail executed perfectly. There's one that's like a Target exclusive for like their pillow section, and she's okay, but the tail is not executed great in my opinion. 
it lacks some detail and stuff, but this is, this is pretty, you know, this is what I expected. Um, she's got all of these elaborate little fins, their iridescent color shift from pink to green. Um, the base fabric is pink, though. Also organza, and they have the back fins, too, which is really cool. And these additional ones, which are so pretty, I love. And then she has her main fluke, which is a satin fabric with a layer of organza on top of it, which is typical for Disney aerial plushies, so I love to see that back. And it's got like the veins of the fins printed on it and the little gradient to purple at the ends. Although it appears more blue on camera, it is more of a kind of lilac-y purple like her top is here. Um, and then she's got her gradient and her fish scales on this sort of crushed velvet material, and this is sublimation, so the scales should not come off. Uh, sublimation printing, I know some people have mixed feelings about it, but it really is one of the best ways to get printed details on plushies. It's why a lot of companies use it, and it's pretty durable, so it'll stand the test of time, and that's what we like. Overall, I would give her a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to critique her on the CVS receipt that is the Disney store tags because that was a change made to all Disney plushies back when Tsum Tsums were still being produced. And that was like in 2016. What? It's been such a long time since they made Tsum Tsums. They stopped making them a while back, but we've had the CVS receipt length tags for a while. So I'm not going to complain about it. Now, it's so funny because I initially recorded this video the day Ariel arrived, and in it, I complained about her friends not having plush counterparts, and then literally the next day, a different company that has the Disney Princess license released them on Amazon, and that would be Just Play, and they released Flounder, and Sebastian, and Scuttle, but I did not buy Sebastian or Scuttle because I am not looking to buy Scuttle. She terrifies me. And Sebastian, we're saving until we can find one in person because he's a crab and there are so many things that can go wrong with that body shape in terms of uneven stitching. So we trusted the fish a little bit more and got him. And I am pretty happy. I love the new flounder. He's cute. Uh, the internet's a little harsh on him. I think my one critique for the movie model is maybe he could have had, like, Finding Nemo eyes, but, like, a little bit more realistic. I don't know. It's just, he, overall, he feels like a happy medium for the art direction of the Little Mermaid movie. So I don't have any strong opinions on Flounder. I just, I, I'm a fish nerd, so I love it when I see fish. Especially, like, this is a species of fish that just does not get produced as a children's toy. So I know child me would be absolutely excited about Flounder being a Sergeant Major Damselfish. But, you know, as a plushie, he's cute. He was like $9. He's from Just Play. He has a paper tag and a barcode on it, which I will probably cut this off later because paper tags are not durable. They fall apart. His fins are satin sewn together with a very, very much exposed hem, which... I mean, he's a $9 plushie, so I don't expect it to be top-tier quality. I do hope the Disney Store does release a flounder as well, because I know that they will give us actual um, fins a little bit more of better quality than this. Like, this this is fine for what it is, for the price that we pay, and he's a decent size compared to the Ariel that is out there. But, you know, fingers crossed that Disney Store does release one in the future, because... Um, I would prefer one with actual three-dimensional fins, not, like, super thin satin ones. But that's fine. You know, he's fine. He is very simple. He has an embroidered face, embroidered gills, and the rest of him, the rest of his body, like his stripes, the gradient, that's all sublimation printing, which, you know, you're gonna see that a lot with a lot of modern-day plush toys. That's just how it is. The more complex character designs are, um, when they incorporate things like gradients, the more likely it is you're going to have sublimation printing. So it is what it is. I know some people hate it. Some people uh, actually think that sublimation printed fabric feels like kind of gross. I've never experienced anything with it negatively. Not really anyway. So I have no opinions on it. It's just, it does look a little cheap. 
uh, on Flounder, but he was also like $9, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of him. He kind of looks like a Disney wishable, if I'm being honest, just a little bit, and that makes me kind of wish that they would bring those back and do a set for the live-action Little Mermaid, but though that ship sailed, I think, in 2021 was the last year we got a wishables set. Because they stopped making those too. They uh, churned out too many sets too quickly and they exhausted and there's still so many characters that they could have made that I wanted them to make but they're never going to make. Um, which sucks. But yeah, that's Ariel and Flounder. <laughs> and then I go and drop him on the floor. Anyway, this is a short video as these plush videos tend to be. Overall, I think these are really cute. I'm really happy to have them in my Little Mermaid collection. Um, Especially because a lot of merchandise between, like, childhood and now for The Little Mermaid has not been great in the world of toys and stuff. Like, all of the good stuff for The Little Mermaid was in the 90s, and then in the 2000s, it was basically a dry spell. 30th anniversary rolled around, we got some good plushies and stuff, but by and large, I would say my experience with Little Mermaid toys has not been great until this year. Now there's a wide variety of stuff that I am excited for. But yeah, let me know what you think about her to like the five people that actually watch my plush reviews. <laughs> I know they're not as popular as the fashion dolls, but you know, they still have a place on the channel. Um, do you like her? Do you hate her? Are you excited for the Little Mermaid movie? Just don't be overly negative if you are not excited for the Little Mermaid movie. I do not want to deal with anyone arguing in the comments because my god, it is a Disney film. We can keep it civil. Please keep it civil. There's no need to be calling each other names or behaving incredibly irrationally in the comment section. So yeah, if you do any of that, you will be asked to leave. Anyway, that is all the time for this video. I gotta record some other things because I am entering finals week in two weeks and I want content for the channel that I can have scheduled to upload. That way you guys still have videos from me to watch while I focus on the end of the semester. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.